Let's talk about money spent in the local community. If, if we shop at a local retailer versus maybe the mall or a big box retailer, where does the money go when we spend it? The great thing about shopping locally is the money stays in your community. So the statistics shows for every $100 spent in your local community, $68 of that money stays right in your own area versus dealing with the big brands, the chain stores, only $43 stays in your local community. Now let me give you a great example. Sage North America shared this research with me and they found that in San Francisco, if you increased spending with local businesses just by 10%, and that's just an incremental amount. It would create $192 million of additional revenue to your local economy, and that would bring about 1,300 jobs. Now, Andrew, if we could replicate that across the country, as you mentioned in your introduction, small businesses are the job creators. Imagine what we could do. Now, what about the role of local governments? I could speak for the small town I live in, in New Jersey. We have two huge free municipal lots that rival any of the shopping malls, but there are so many cities and municipalities that obsess over parking tickets. If you're going to nail somebody for a parking ticket where the mall is offering free parking or the big box store is offering free parking, people are going to naturally gravitate where they don't have to worry about the meter. Right, it's exactly true. And also, what's more convenient, it's easier to pull into a parking mall, a shopping mall area grab a parking spot than it is to find a parking place on the street. But, you know, I really do think that municipalities, they do watch those parking meters like a hawk. And you can look, there are lots of surveys on the Internet on areas that are more conducive to the entrepreneurial spirit. It's got to be a partnership. It's got to be a public-private partnership in order to help small businesses succeed. We have seen in this last recession and in this administration, small businesses being charged with the need to help buoy the economy to help create jobs, but we don't get the support back. Big companies get bailouts, big companies get assistance and help, but not the small business guy. We're still struggling. And don't even get me started on what's going to happen with Obamacare. What about uh, this year's numbers? How, how are small businesses doing so far with after Small Business Saturday? Well, you know, it's interesting about Small Business Saturday. In my opinion, it's much ado about nothing. It was started by a big brand company in order to buoy its own coffers. So here you've got Small Business Saturday. Only about 34% of small businesses participated in Small Business Saturday last year. That's according to Constant Contact. And in a survey of the 66% who didn't participate last year, over half of them aren't going to participate or didn't participate this year. And and a substantial number of those who did participate last year aren't participating. Now, why is that? Well, first of all, to really benefit from Small Business Saturday, you have to be able to take the American Express card, which is the most expensive card when it comes to processing fees that there is, and many small businesses can't afford to take it. The second thing is, look at the number of small businesses that are actually excluded from participating in Small Business Saturday. So of the 28 million small businesses, 52% of those are home-based businesses. Most likely, unless they have a kiosk somewhere, Small Business Saturday isn't going to help those businesses. And then you also think about the franchisee owner. Yes, they're part of a big brand, but those are independent business owners, and they're not included in Small Business Saturday. So it's no wonder when you look at the numbers. Last year, I think uh, holiday shoppers spent about $580 billion on holiday sales. Of that, $5.5 billion could be attributed to Small Business Saturday. That is like a minuscule amount of, of money. But, you know, hey, American Express got a lot of great advertising out of it.